being a great cause here in town and yeah. the visits mm -hmm. just kind of help calm people down or get them really excited like people in our newsroom. Even yeah. the boss, when the boss, he was in a good mood and that never happens around here. Right, he was, he was raging before and then those puppies <laughs> came in and he was like, oh. Calm as can be. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. going to let you handle that one after the show. I said that because he left about an hour <laughs> oh, ago. Okay. So oh, okay. We're, we're good. Okay. Hey, we're good. Yeah. All hey, right. Natasha, we keep saying this was the transition day like you said. It sure is. A little bit of rain just to start us out, but it's not a lot. Not a lot to measure. We need a lot to measure. We're going to get that, though, in a couple days. Right now, Vancouver, 55 degrees. And as you look out towards downtown Portland, though, you'll notice the roadways there are dry. Mount Hood Meadows, 36. So snow levels will be dropping briefly down to 7,000 feet. But by the time it's cold enough to get down to 7,000 feet, most of this moisture is kind of wrapping up. 54 degrees, Stoller Winery. And it's been a nice light rain out that direction. 55, Seaside. And we're seeing a break in those clouds. But we've had enough rain along the coast to measure today. Almost a tenth of an inch at Astoria, but only a few hundredths of an inch Tillamook, Newport, also down towards Roseburg and Medford, nothing to the east. Now at PDX, we have officially measured one one hundredth of an inch, three hundredths of an inch in Vancouver. So something there in the bucket, but we need to add more to it. Here's the latest from our Doppler radar. You can see some light to moderate showers just along the west side of I-5 as you're uh, getting up through uh, Salmon Creek and then approaching uh, places like Longview and also just a few scattered showers just north of Newburgh, leaving Hillsboro, and you'll see a few brief sprinkles in Portland, mostly on the west side right now. Uh, satellite radar imagery, what do we see here? Well, behind this front, we have some clearing. So there's our break before the next system arrives. So when will it arrive? We're going to have to wait a couple days before we get there. But talking about rainfall totals, so the more impressive system for us will be the one that comes through Thursday, lasting through Friday, and then pretty much wraps up by early, early Saturday morning. We could see totals anywhere from uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch along the coast. Inland valleys could see totals ranging from a half inch to three quarters of an inch. The biggest totals, though, are going to be closer to Seattle and Olympia. The Dalles may pick up a half inch, too, from that system coming through this coming Thursday. So there we go, Thursday. Arrival time, about 6.30 in the morning. We'll start to see some of that rain developing along the coast and then eventually spreading further inland and really staying intact this time. Uh, the one today that came through, the cold front that came through today, really just fell apart. So Friday, here we go, 2 in the morning. The rain sticks around for a good period of time and even uh, gives or delivers rain to eastern Oregon as well. We get a break Saturday. So Sunday, now we're talking about the next round of rain coming through. In fact, most of the day Sunday, you should be in pretty good shape unless you're spending some time at the coast. The coast for you Sunday could be a wet one. Until then, tomorrow, it'll be dry but mostly cloudy. Daytime highs reaching the low 60s at the coast and our inland valleys as well. Some morning fog for you in the valley too, so call ahead on those flights at PDX. Madras 62 tomorrow, Hood River 59, the Dalles 63, government camps high tomorrow 48. Here's your seven day forecast. Looking pretty good. I know Halloween is on the minds of many, and it looks as though next Tuesday we could once again be in a little bit of a drying trend with temps in the upper 50s. But if we could keep that drying trend all the way through next Wednesday, that'd then be nice, wouldn't it? Halloween night. Yeah, that would serve everybody well. Yes. And the parents. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody.